May of 1995, my sister and I sat at the kitchen table here in Durham. I, being a nurse, she being from social background, just decided we wanted to do more with the health disparities and the poor social determinants of health that we were seeing. From that kitchen table experience, we started CARE. So CARE is a community-based organization. We serve primarily uninsured, underserved individuals. We have several components, but we look at the whole person. We deal with the mind, body, spirit. So what I was seeing in terms of disparities, um, there was a huge gap with the care that was being rendered to African Americans and other minorities as opposed to the majority. I knew that there probably needed to be a different approach, maybe lack of education, maybe access issues. So I did my research to figure out what these issues were. And so what they said was, we need transportation, we need housing, we need food. So we deal with a lot of their other issues that really contribute to poor health outcomes. So it's, it's not a top-down model. It's really them speaking to us, telling us what's good, what they need, what we could do better, how we, we could improve their care. We serve about 1,000 clients a month just coming through our doors voluntarily because we knew we could not do it all. I mean, it's just impossible for any one entity to do it all. So we felt like we would look at the five top health disparities that were disproportionately affecting people, not only of color, but people of low economic, socioeconomic status. And those were diabetes being one of the number one, cardiovascular disease, obesity, HIV AIDS and cancer. So we offer a continuum of care model, including navigation with each component. For example, with HIV, we tested 3,400 people last year. We found 14 new positives. With our cancer program, we found three women with breast cancer and were able to get them in BCEP Medicaid to get the chemotherapy. With diabetes, not only did we detect and find new diabetics, but we also housed the first diabetes support group that was a non-church support group and had the highest attendance. Even with all the health disparities I talked about, physical activity and nutrition are the core of all of them. We have cooking classes with a partnership from the um, Cooperative Extension. So we made sure that we put a very sound program in place and it's free so we remove the barriers so I think removing the barriers is one of the things that um, enables people to come and be a part of a process that they wouldn't ordinarily choose. I've always um, been in partnership with the Durham County Health Department um, they've been around in all of our lives but more specifically, we do outreach with them. We also have had meetings here with them. I'm a part of many of their initiatives. When they are short of people to go out, we go and help them. So it's been a clear partnership all along. It's everybody working together for the greater need.